Well, steel is pretty is kind of a precious resource. I mean, you use it to make a lot of stuff. Steel is used for building large things. Steel is used for building large things. So it's tin then. No, tin is used for making cans. Oh, for use for making cans. What about aluminum cans? Yeah. The answer must be gold. But gold is not a choice. The answer is soul silver. That's right. Silver is a valuable precious metal that is often used for making coins. What year was silver invented? Silver was first used to make the <laughs> silver 500 years ago. Wait, what did he say that silver was the earliest year commonly used to make? German dollar to buy a Frankfurter. What? He, what did he say that silver was used to make? Coins? Yeah. Not anymore, it's not. So, silver was first used to make a German do dollar 500 years ago. So what's the what's the earliest year you could have used it? Well, 2010 minus um, 500, 500 years is... It's 1610. So it would be 1631. That's right! In 1531, the silver coin called the dollar could have bought you plenty of German Frankfurters. Oh, damn. I said 1531. To be the year when the solar system was discovered. Because I definitely wasn't thinking of the year 2110. The person in Poland who discovered the solar system in 1531. Wait, so the solar system was discovered... Covered in 1531 because beer was invented. No, because German coin was invented in 1531. As the shadow yes. moves across a surface marked with the hours of the day, the Egyptians invented the sundial 5,000 years ago, and it was one of the earliest ways of measuring time. A sundial works due to the movement of what heavenly body? God? Uh, uh, the light bulb. The <laughs> light bulb. I think it's talking about God. When God yeah. has a... You are correct! <laughs> oh, Even oops. though the sun creates the shadow that moves across the sundial, it's really the Earth that's moving, not the sun. While the Earth spins, it also moves around the sun. What is the Earth's movement around the sun called? A revolution. Oh, dang it. <laughs> No, the answer is actually is the going to be orbit on its axis, which it does once a day. Cycle. No, try again. Yes, the cycle could apply to that. A, a Pokemon battle revolution. That's right. <laughs> the Earth revolves around the sun. Coincidentally, you could also call it a cycle. <laughs> Who discovered that the Earth revolves around the Sun? Gee, thanks! <laughs> oh, King Toot and Common, of course. Copernicus <laughs> had nothing to do with it. <laughs> That's just great. It's all like, okay, I'm going to give you a hint as to when the when we found out the Earth revolves around the Sun. By you telling me. If I knew, I wouldn't be on this game show! King Tutankhamun. No, King Tutankhamun was a great Egyptian king. The Egyptians well, it thought the wasn't. Sun it obviously was not Copernicus. I mean, what did Copernicus ever do for us? No, Edison. It's not like Copernicus came up with the idea for solar centric theory. Um, Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. He definitely did not invent the a whole bunch of other things either. Just the light bulb. Thomas Edison invented the sun. Yes, the sun he... is a giant light bulb. <laughs> Who invented the fluorescent light bulb? I don't know. So, 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 should we take a guess? Copernicus. Right, you are. Copernicus was the Polish astronomer who discovered the solar system in 1531. Before his discovery, people thought that everything revolved around the Earth. 
geocentric theory. All the information we need. So let me get this straight. Copernicus. I could have given you this key all along, but I wanted to put you through a quiz that you didn't know the answers to. Wouldn't revolve around Polly any more than it already does. Back button. Back button. Back button. No, it's not working. Um, um, back button. Fine, we'll just go in the time machine. That's the time machine? It makes spice? This is it. Journey into time. Yes. Click on me to start the trip. Okay, James. Can it make, can it make anything besides time? Um. Like, nutmeg? No, but you know what? You better fasten your seatbelts, because this is going to be a bumpy ride. Yes. Next stop, Bullet, to visit the great scientist Copernicus. He's about to discover that the sun is the center of the solar system. Oh, hey, Bowley, before you go, can you turn the power on in the generator? I Copernicus think it's about to come on. Copernicus making his great discovery. But look, Polly has reprogrammed the Russian robot Cosmobot to paint her picture on the model of the sun. So you, you see this ugly girl's oh, face yeah. in the center of the universe. The Cosmobot, Copernicus is you can tell he's Russian because of the hat. And the star. Hit the recall button. It's our only chance. Uh, my communist ways will convince Copernicus that she is the center of the universe. Ha and, ha ha. And what do you get out of this, sir? Um. Maybe you want to I get to spread Karl Marx's backward. Come on, press which the recall button. Is over the everything and make everyone communist. Oh, times to freeze on me. We're so close. You know, just hit the recall button. I, I, I think I like a world where she's the center of the universe. We should just click the back button and leave. Well, you know, she's not actually the center of the universe. He just painted her picture on the sun. And we already know the sun isn't the center of the universe. So therefore, she's only the center of the solar system. And she isn't really... You could just kind of look at it through a telescope at the sun and, you know. Because you know how they, like, took pictures. Oh, dang it. Yeah. You know how they can, like, take pictures of the sun using, like, ultraviolet cameras or whatever? Uh -huh. And, like, then they can clearly see that it's a giant ball of gas and not a girl's face. Ah, oh, there's no place like home. Press the back button on the What is this? This is not my home. I live in the Marsha. Hey, we can't stay in here all day. Shut up, Bali. I'm trying to make jokes. Okay, so, um, I like how Copernicus says, The sun is the center of the universe, and everyone instantly believes him. There certainly wasn't a loud outcry from the religious religion saying, Of course. Of course not. That would be ridiculous. Hey, things are looking up here. And it We've definitely wasn't, um, it definitely wasn't Galileo roots. who actually proved it. Like, who people actually listened to in published papers. Nice work, Notley. I guess my own innate intelligence has rubbed off on you. Still, this little nightmare's not... Why am I being put in this cage? Hey, let me out against world. my communist oh, ideals. I believe I should treat everyone equally and not cage anyone. You get the joke, it is because I am communist. And in Soviet Russia, a communist treats you equally. So, this is, so it's time for us to say goodbye. No, we should do the next mission. Well, then you know what? We should do the next mission after we leave. Say goodbye. Bye.